everybody. This video brings me and Mike back out to, oh my gosh, Jake's Flea Market. It is mid-December right now and it's nearly 60 degrees out. I guess if anything, global warming is good for at least one thing, and that is flea markets in mid-December. Right now, it's mid-December and in Pennsylvania, it should be snowing right now. We should be freezing, there should be snow coming down. Santa Claus is coming any day now. But no, we're going to flea marketing, so this is awesome. Probably our last trip out to Jake's, because Jake's actually closes um, like on Christmas. Christmas yep. is like the, like the, after Christmas, they are closed until I believe April, right? April first snowing, first yeah. uh, weekend of April is when they open up again. So most likely, this is going to be our last trip out to Jake's. Although, with that being said, I said that last time we were at Jake's and that was gonna be our last trip ever out here. So um, you, you never know. But anyway, let's go see what Jake's has in mid-December. Yeah weird probably the latest latest i've ever been the jakes ever i haven't actually worn a belt that uh, could use a belt buckle in years but uh, I i'm thinking of starting again just because i've seen this a donatello belt buckle that is awesome for only ten dollars donatello does happen to be my all-time favorite turtle so that is really really tempting but um i don't know i i, I don't know if i'm gonna go back to wearing uh, th those styles of uh, belts again these are interesting too, these McDonald's glasses. So I've always been kind of curious as to what exactly Ronald is doing. I mean, I know I know it kind of looks like he's jumping into the lake, but it also looks like he's about to jump on the head of a fry guy. I, I, look at him, he's, he's terrified, look at his eyes. He's like, Ronald, no, what are you doing? Stop, no! Here's a few Blu-rays and DVDs, things like uh, McKenna Shoots for the Stars, never heard of that one. Alice in Wonderland, that's awesome. And uh, Pixar Short Films Collection 2, that's also awesome. High School Musical, The Concert, School of Duel, Sky High, Hairspray, some Xbox 360, and ooh, Despicable Me, also very, very awesome. These are only a dollar a piece, so uh, I, I think I'll be grabbing these two. I'll, wait a minute. Uh, Pixar Short Films Collection DVD and the digital copy of Hannah Montana the Movie? Oh, the Blu-ray's not in there. And this has the digital copy to The Muppets and um, looks like the digital copy to Alice in Wonderland and only the DVD to Alice in Wonderland. We're off to a great start. Here's something you don't see every day, a Sega Dreamcast, the, the, the Sega Sports release of it. That is really, really awesome. I remember back when the Dreamcast came out, like I had, I had a good girlfriend at the time whose brother was like super into this and like was playing it every single day. I played it a few times. Fun systems. It's a shame Sega like stopped doing systems. I, I thought they were always pretty good. There's things like a Game Gear game of the Lion King, which is awesome. And ooh, the Genesis Aladdin. Now, did you ever, have you ever played this game? The Genesis? No. There's a lot of people out there who actually prefer the Super NES version of Aladdin, and I see those people are crazy because this one here is the far superior game. Oh no, here's the last thing I need, especially after yesterday when I bought way too many of these. They've got more pops here. Things like Norman Bates, I, I don't have him yet, or her, or whatever you want to say. Um, Carrie, I don't have her yet either. I have Reagan, I have Freddy. I think that's the only ones I'd really be interested in. Have Jack Torrance as well. The Dwight, oh, the Dwight is kind of tempting. That's awesome with the, uh, the, the stapler inside the jello mold. That is really, really cool. I don't know, it, it, it's, it's great to see more pops, but I just, I spent like $9,000 on pops yesterday, so probably don't need to be spending $9,000 on pops today. Here's a Game Boy Color and some Game Boy games, which it looks like I have most of. Yeah, I pretty much have, yeah, I have all of those and I have pretty much all of these with the exception of the getaway that one i don't have it is tempting but i think they're asking ten dollars for it so i'm probably gonna have to pass on that one but the only game out of all these i don't actually have and it's one of the most expensive ones so maybe maybe that means the game's really good i don't know if any of you guys ever played the getaway for the game boy i certainly have it i i, I have no idea if that game's any good or not leave leave comments down below this is awesome though, this giant, I mean, look at this, look at my hand, look at this thing. It's huge, this giant Joker from the Bat Batman the Animated Series. Did not know they ever made the action figures that large. That is really cool. They also have a, a Michael Myers, that's awesome as well. Some Ninja Turtles, very cool. And oh, they even have a Jar Jar Binks, but um, I actually already have that one. I just stumbled upon all of these books in here. Uh, they're four for a dollar, and there are some cool ones, and I'm actually going to grab a big stack of them here. Again, four for a dollar for these. We got uh, Heathcliff, uh, Counting and Numbers, 
Garfield Longest Catnap, Garfield Color Slash Activity Book, Tartan and the Magic Cauldron from, uh, from the Black Cauldron. That's awesome. Page Master Paint and Marker Book, Page Master A Big Coloring Book, Sesame Street uh, Farm and Garden Coloring Book, Jurassic Park Big Coloring Book, and uh, some more Page Masters because why not pick up a ton of Page Masters? That is awesome. $3 total for all of these. Okay, now we're off to a good start. These Living Dead dolls are really cool. I'm, I'm enjoying the fact that it's like, you know, Pennywise as like a baby doll and uh, and uh, Brandon Lee as, as a baby doll. And oh my gosh, they've got a Harley Quinn. That is really cool as well. Those are really neat. And ooh, a Magic 8-Ball. Okay, we gotta do it. Dear Magic 8-Ball, will I find any good deals today? Sources point to, you're a dork. <laughs> Great. Boxes and boxes full of $1 DVDs and even a few Blu-rays. Things like Salt and uh, Last Stand. Good movies. Do not need those, though. I am seeing a lot of good stuff in here. It's just mostly stuff, unfortunately, I already have. With the exception of a few titles here. Um, I'm picking up The Trigger Effect. I've never heard of this movie, but Elizabeth Shue has me completely sold just alone. If you guys have seen this one, leave a comment down below. Any good? I don't know. It's a dollar. I'm picking it up. I'm also grabbing some Amy Schumer, um, mostly sex stuff. Yeah, that's 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 what I just said. Um, I know a lot of people out there do not like Amy Schumer. I don't actually mind her. So grabbing that for my collection. And this is something I'm actually picking up for the store. And this is House of Cards season one on Blu-ray. So uh, yeah, grabbing something for uh, for the store as well. So awesome finds for only one dollar a piece. I know, I know, Amy Schumer. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the comments. I know, I know. Now, here's something you don't see every day at the flea market, laser discs. Things like Dune, we got 12 Monkeys, Godfather Part 3, ooh, Beauty and the Beast, that's awesome. Man's Best Friend, this is such a good, bad movie. That's actually a really cool laser disc. Um, I don't know what that is, don't think that's a laser disc. Um, Eddie and the, the Cruisers, oh, that's actually a record. Um, we got uh, Dances with Wolves, The Player, I believe another record, Mercury Rising, Hunt for Red October. What is this? I don't think I've ever heard of that movie. I don't know if I have that movie. I'm going to look that one up. Singles and uh, Go The Ghost and the Darkness. That's a, that's a really good movie as well. This one here actually has me rather intrigued though. Gonna quickly do a little research. All right, so as it turns out, I actually don't have Mary Riley. Apparently this is a powerful retelling of the Jekyll and Hyde story. So I'm intrigued by this. Julia Roberts, John Malkovich. I mean, I, I, again, I never seen this movie. Don't have it on any format. It's only $5. So here's something I haven't said in a very long time. I'm buying a Laserdisc. Buy five, get one free on all the DVDs and Blu-rays, which is awesome. But I'm just, again, as per usual, not seeing anything I actually need to pick up. I want to say I have all of this stuff, but what has me kind of intrigued is this. $40 for this DVD VCR combo, which is in this really like convenient square packaging here. That is awesome. This apparently was actually a, a DVD VCR combo used for a vehicle. This is really neat and honestly kind of tempting for Vanabelle. I don't know, $40 though. Do I really need a, a DVD VCR combo for Vanabelle? Kind of. Okay, that DVD VCR combo is really, really awesome, and uh, they they offered it up to me for a pretty good deal. But I just, I don't know how how many VHS tapes do I plan on watching inside Vanabelle? I already got a Blu-ray player in there. I'm thinking probably none. Here's a few more DVDs, including some Christmas titles like a Charlie Brown Christmas and uh, Benji's very own Christmas story. That is awesome. 12 Dogs of Christmas. There's actually some decent stuff in here. Uh, they said they would do two for five. Mike here is getting um, Christmas time in his South Park. That is awesome. I had that very good pickup and I'm grabbing these two. I'm grabbing, um, I to wait, I told you I was trouble. Amy Winehouse live in London because I just, I love the music of Amy Winehouse. And this is awesome from the classic albums releases, The Doors. These are really, really awesome documentaries all about, well, classic albums. I have a ton of these. I'm grabbing this one as well. So two for five, great deal. All LPs and CDs and DVDs are only a dollar. And um, within the CDs, I actually found some interesting stuff. Uh, one is the best of Connie Francis. I don't have any Con Connie Francis in my uh, CD collection, so I am definitely grabbing that. And leave comments down below. I'm not sure about this band. Liberator? 
world de a worldwide delivery. Um, they're on Epitaph and I guess Burning Burning Heart Records, which is weird. I, I don't know if this is a ska band or not. I mean, they they do have a trombone and um, and saxophone, so I, I'm guessing maybe a ska band. I don't think I've ever heard. Of, of Liberator, but I, I'm gonna have to check them out. I'm picking both of these up for a dollar, and then, yeah, I, I also have to grab this. Uh, this one's gonna be for the store. This is this is Rappin' Rodney, some Rodney Dangerfield. I don't think I've ever actually come across this album, Out in the Wild. That is awesome for a dollar. So uh, one record for the store and uh, two CDs for me, three dollars total. That is awesome. All right, so we have records, going to pass on those. A bunch of CDs, including some MIA, already have that. Nothing in there I need, but um, then we turn over here. They actually have a, uh, a, be a beta VCR. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Not, not gonna buy it. And that, my friends, is how you lose a customer. I, I, I may have bought that beta VCR, not now. Here's Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald on Blu-ray. Brand new factory, sealed for $3. Awesome, but I already have it. Don't need that. But um, what I am going to pick up is this. The Haunted Mansion. I don't even know what this is. Funko, just vinyl figure. This is really, really awesome. They're only asking a dollar for this. It is brand new factory sealed. So, um, yeah, I, I am I'm definitely picking that up. Inside this box here of kids toys for only $1, there are some interesting things like some uh, Mickey and the Roadster racer cars. These are tempting. They got Mickey and they got Pete, which is really, really awesome. They got some Star Wars Hot Wheels cars, which are also really tempting, but I'm probably gonna pass on those. But what I'm not gonna pass on are these, I guess some Olympic Hello Kitty vinyl figures. They've got um, three of these, that one, this one, and this one here as well. These are really cool and only one dollar piece. I'm gonna grab all three of them for the store. All right guys, so that's going to do it for this beautiful, beautiful mid-December day here at Jake's Flea Market. I've got an entire bag full of goodies, things for me, things for the store. I mean, not the hugest haul I've ever gotten from uh, Jake's Flea Market, but I'm gonna say for a, um, a mid-December haul, this is actually pretty good. You bought a DVD, right? That's, that's it, just, just one DVD. It's all good. So anyway, guys, that is awesome. Like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, probably our last time here at Jake's. They're closing up. They're open for like, like, like one more week, yeah. and that is it. I'm thinking probably next weekend we won't be here, but who knows? You never know. Could be a beautiful weekend. I mean, th things have been crazy this year. You just never know, but I'm going to call it now probably our last 2020 trip to Jake's. So, all right guys, that is it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, check down below for links to Patreon where you can help support the show. Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself Cinema Sickness t-shirts. And of course, check down below for a link to the Cinema Sickness retro store. It came from Cinema Sickness on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. I have no hands, do the snap, bye. Hold on, wait a minute, we are not done yet because of course, what is a trip to Jake's Flea Market without then going to Fenty's Flea Market afterwards and hitting up the video game movie dome, Pamela! I love this store. And Pam got some really cool stuff in like this uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom print. I have never seen this before. I want that, but of course the question is what what would I do with that? Where would I hang that? I have no idea, but that is absolutely amazing. She got things like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This one here, I'm I'm very tempted by Melissa and Joey on the season one part two. I don't have that. That is awesome. And oh my gosh, the complete series of Green Acres, brand new factory sealed for forty dollars. Ah, this one here is really tempting because I think I only have like the first maybe three seasons didn't they only release like the first three seasons or something like that and then they were like oh we're not going to do them individually anymore we're just going to put this giant box set that was that was nice of um of, of shout thank you thank you so much for doing that so anyway this is awesome i need to get this but for right now <sighs> as tempting as it is i'm just gonna hold out she also has a complete series of rocco's modern life which i already have but that's really awesome for only 25 dollars She's also holding something really cool for me, which I'm not gonna show now. I'll show it to you guys later. I'm gonna put some more store credit towards something really amazing, a $50 item. It's coming, stay tuned. But these I'm picking up today. We have a Disney Nature Earth, which I only have on DVD. So upgrading that and video games uh, live level two. I only have uh, level one in my collection. Did not have level two yet. $5 a piece, 
not bad. Picking up a couple Blu-rays. And I'm not using store credit. I'm actually, I'm actually giving Pam some money today. That's, that's always nice. So, all right, guys, that is it. As always, check down below. I'll put a link to the Video Game Movie Dome's uh, Facebook page. Pamela does ship. Maybe, maybe you guys want to beat me to the amazing deal of Green Acres, the complete series on Blu-ray, or on DVD, I wish it was on Blu-ray, on DVD, brand new factory sealed for only $40, or Rocco's Modern Life, the complete series for only $25. Maybe you guys want that. Pamela ships, she will ship those to you if you see anything you want, so definitely check out her, her page. So anyway guys, that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.